the RSI Polaris as well as the Star Lancer Max will be available tonight in PTU in Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.3 as well as some other Star Citizen news you might be interested in. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an Alti Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So earlier this morning, CIG um, put out a post uh, through the SC testing chat on Spectrum. Uh, it says here, we've been given the John Crew blessing for the Polaris and Star Lancer Max in our next 3.24.3 build on PTU. This might be a late one since we are working to publish a 4.0 to Evo Cadi as well first. So 4.0 will go out first and then after that we should expect the PTU receiving a new 3.24.3 patch. Okay so um, it says here how would you be able to access uh, uh, the Polaris if you want to try it out if you do not own it. So they will be doing IAE. Um, they will be activating IAE with actual ships this time around. And they will be cycling through each day. I'm not sure how often it would be. But it's going to run throughout the weekend. And um, if you want to see the Polaris. Um, if you want to be able to rent the Polaris. Um, you will have to wait until RSI day is activated. Uh, during whichever time that will be. Um, which we don't know how it's going to run. Or the Star Lancer. You have to wait until the Mist Day. To be able to rent it but owners will have access to their ships so if you own a polaris you should have it um, available to you immediately if you own a star lancer max you should be able to have it immediately all right so now let's get into other star citizen news cig had a star citizen live episode earlier today and it had some really interesting stuff when it comes to characters and creatures okay so we're just going to go through some of the key questions and answers and uh We'll talk further about them. All right. So the very first question was during the Citizen Con, you presented the next evolution of archetype armor. We saw a lot of combat armor, but what about engineering, industrial, mining suits coming alone? And then they responded with the uh, new suits are indeed coming. For example, the mining suit will have its dedicated mining visor, allowing you to find mineables around you at a greater distance they offer greater environmental protection and more storage we have a salvage suit coming as well has cool features with dedicated backpack we would like to provide the players with as many details as they need for their current job according to their suits really exciting stuff specialized armors um that is uh for a given task like mining or salvaging is awesome i really I look forward to these kinds of things all right so the next question is can we get an update on the rows of armor sets that have been sold on the pledge store and they respond with all armors will get specializations more or less depending on armor some will favor a specific gameplay others will tinker a bit in a direction like little bit of stealth and a little and also other attributes the subscriber flares are also variants of what is already in game you can also do almost anything in any armor. It's just a question of how well do you want to perform in this armor. The next question is, will we see more options for armor storage? And they respond with, there will always be somewhere to store your belongings in ships. But some ships will have their own dedicated lockers, which will make it easier to store to access and equip. Dropship seats will have their own inventory. You will automatically have the backpack and your weapons and other and anything else that will clip into the inventory and when you stand up it will appear on your character the next question is are the pouches still a thing and they respond with yes it's in the plans but not actively worked on currently the next question is can we just drop an a2 bomb on a valakar to kill it and they respond with you could but you might destroy the harvestables because of the large explosion really interesting mm. yeah it's not going to be worth dropping an a2 i think it's going to be more fun just to actually fight it all right so the next question is will the valakar be a world boss or just another moby glass mission they respond with it won't be a moby glass mission we want to make it a very particular and quite the event 
you have to taunt it out using ground vehicles and then use your best plan to defeat it with others they also asked can you kite the sandworm and they said possibly but it moves underground and the next question is then can you bring it to someone's base emergent gameplay well we'll see how it goes <laughs> oh man that's a strategy <laughs> I wonder how many people is going to actually try to do that. That's, that's actually really interesting. All right. So, so the next question is, they asked, are there going to be parachutes? And they said, yes. They, they respond with yes, but it's not exactly a parachute. We want something that fits Star Citizen sci-fi jetpacks, maybe, but we have something else. I wonder what that could be if it's not jetpacks, you know? I'm really curious. Hmm. All right, so the next question is next creature coming and they respond with i can't name one neutral creature but you'll hear more in our future news and shows the torok the torok what what ship it the torok what creature could that be i don't think we heard of the torok before if you guys know what that is let me know in the comments before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.